So as promised, here's part one of two nail arts that I did for Valentine's Day and this was so gorgeous that I really did have to show it off, so <laughs> let's get started. As usual, using my own peel off base coat and as you can see, well, at the end of this sequence anyway, that I'm not wrapping the tips and that's because I want them to come off. So after you give them a coat, wait about a minute or two and then you can move on to the next thing. So as my base, I'm using Live Love Polish's very own brand new line. I forget what collection that this is from, but this is their red, silver, hollow um, nail polish called Sangria. And I know a lot of you are wondering why I'm not sponging it on, and that's because of the red jelly base polish. Like, it'll just come up silver because you know, it'll leave the glitter and not the red jelly, so you definitely don't want that. Just, you know, apply your nail polish as usual. And this is after two coats and a top coat. And after the top coat is completely dry, and make sure that it is completely dry, that you can do any other kind of nail art that you want. But here I'm using, yet again, Live Loaf Polish's very own, um, I, f I also forget what collection that this is from, but this is their heart decals. And you can use your fingers, but in order for me to show you how to do this, I use the tweezers instead. And if you notice that there are some little heart stickers that are left in the decal. So just flip the piece of paper over, push it down, pop it out and whatever, and then you'll be able to get moving on. And after all those hearts come out, um, put the decal on your nail, push down hard as you can. Oop, and I just realized that I, a little heart sticker was still on the back. Come on, you gotta go. I'm trying to work here. So, yep. Try to push the nail decal nice and flat. Make sure that nothing gets in between. If you want to, you can cut the corners and the tips and the edges and whatever to make it fit towards your nail. Then I'm going in with Starly Ultima. Now this is my absolute favorite chunky silver hollow glitter. I love this polish. Now I can actually um, just dab this on. And the reason why I want to do this is because this one I definitely want maximum coverage with. And you can probably see that the polish is being sucked a bit into the sponge and leaving the glitter behind. And yep, really giving me good coverage. I love this stuff so much. Now while the polish is wet, and this is absolutely crucial, do not wait for this to dry, otherwise your decal won't come out crisp and clean. And then just simply pull it off. Now, I kind of messed up when I tried to recreate my free-handed heart that I had on my ring finger. Yeah, pretty much the only thing that I did was take the end of a any kind of nail art brush and yep, just swiped it across whatever kind of colored polish or whatever that you're using and just make two little dots and form a heart. But unfortunately at the angle that I was watching this on, yeah, my heart didn't come out as good. I mean, it looks pretty good there, but I tried fixing it and it didn't work out so good. I should have just left it alone, but I couldn't. Oh, it's annoying me just watching this. No, stop it. Leave it alone. Don't, no, don't try to, uh. Yeah. 
and yep I touched the red polish and that came up because the red polish didn't dry completely underneath and uh, I can't sit here watching myself do this anymore I'm not gonna let you either so we're moving on so yeah that's what the heart ended up looking like after that and I just decided you know what the hell with it let's just top coat this let that dry cuz I want to peel this shit up as immediately as possible although yes stuff on my index finger came out perfect just like it did last time but my middle finger nail art that's it's gotta go let that dry and then we're gonna peel this shit off and of course because we put on the top coat this is now really easy to peel off of course yes I am having a little bit of a hard time trying to find exactly where to get the peel off to start and I mean yeah usually I can't get this stuff to last more than like six or eight hours I don't know how the hell the simply nail logical can but Probably that's because I'm constantly washing my hands. That could possibly be why I can't get mine to last long at all. And she can make hers last for like days, even weeks. So not fair. And yeah, I mean, that one popped off pretty good though, but not too bad. In the end though, I did have a couple of spots that I think I did miss with the um peel off base coat, but no biggie. Take some acetone q-tip, cleans right up. And there you have it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya. Bye.